What's going on guys, welcome back, doing a little video, and this is going to our Let's Build a Medieval Village in Minecraft. It's episode number 8, and... So I basically for this video, all I want to do is get some plans out. So you can see we have this, little U. I basically want to close this off, and also figure out how I want to connect it to the b big castle. And there will be multiple of these loops, which I'll probably do in a time lapse. But we shall see. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this out real quick. But I'm going to just do, or at least outline this. And I might fill it in and talk about what the next step is. Alright, we're back with an empty little uh, loop here. I actually have to fill in these holes over here because we're placing gravel. But I basically just want to talk about what my plan is. So my plan is make this all unique houses. Make the, every single one different, look different, all those stuff. And then I'm going to make multiple loops. When I make the other loops, I'm probably going to structure block or copy most of the houses. Just to save me some time from probably making the same design a few times. It will pro it probably will happen. Anyway, so I might as well just structure block it. Also, one of these loops, I'm thinking it's going to be this one. will be the central one. And that will lead up to a castle, which I'm thinking I'll actually start probably in this episode. I'm not going to probably finish the castle for a while. Nor actually start on the actual castle itself. But I basically am trying to like think of it being on like a hill and then have a path leading up to it. That is my plan. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm not the like, most amazing terraformer. So I mean, you know, I'm good at cliffs, but I'm not good at mountains. So I kind of need more of like a mountain or at least an elevation of some kind, which hopefully shouldn't be too bad. But cliffs is the only thing I'm comfortable with terraforming. I'm very happy with my cliffs, usually. Um, right now, I don't make cliffs so much, but whatever. Mountains are probably the hardest for me. Like, really small elevations and cliffs I can do. Depending on the cliff. I can't really do, like, big rocks and stuff like that. I'm not good at small, meticulous details on cliffs, but I can get the overall shape, which is kind of all that I would need, but um, that's not important because we're filling in a road anyways. So, I'm thinking, I don't know if I can copy paste the loop, that's the only problem, but like, maybe I'll like have a house missing over there and maybe have a path like here, maybe even just corner paths, that would actually probably work. Just sticking out and then going to some, like, I don't know, other area, basically. Well, I mean, yeah, that's where paths go to other areas. <laughs> that's pretty genius, not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, that's basically the general plan. Just try and have a ton of these loops. I'll probably wall off the whole thing with a fancy little wall. Also, uh, like, shopping center. And what I mean by shopping center is not like, oh, yeah, we're... Hang on, let me just really quickly build a Kroger's in a medieval town now. Uh, that looks really pretty funny, though. Uh, basically, like, blacksmith, merchant, I think those are the same thing, actually. Um, like, villager, more of like a villager, like a normal Minecraft villager type thing. I don't know about church, though. I'll have to look, at that, look into that, because I'm not sure how, like, medieval times were. I'm, I didn't, believe it or not, I didn't live in medieval times, so I don't know. But... <laughs> Yeah, I think actually I'm going to have a path, like, here. Is that far enough? A little bit further. Like, yeah, there. And this will be the front of the castle here. So we're having basically just castle layout. That's kind of what I want to get down. Where the castle is going to go. I don't need to do much terraforming or anything. But I do want to get a general like layout done. I just. I want to know what the size is going to be. I want it to be massive. That's the big thing. I want it to be. When you're looking around in this world. I want that to stand out. And for those of you who build towns and stuff. I think you, both of you probably know that. That is what you really want to do. Whenever you have a big building. You want to make, or if you have like a central point, you want to make the central point stand out. There's always got to be something in a city that stands out. Not necessarily, I guess. It depends on the situation of the scenario. But 
usually it's preferred to have something stand up. Which I do also enjoy. I like having, like, center points to stare at. Something impressive. I'm not good at castles, though, so, uh... I'll have to see if anyone that I know or talk to are good at castles. And, uh... Yeah. I'm not gonna have them build it, but I might get tips or whatever. Because, uh... I tried building a castle and it went terribly. Um... If you stay till the end of the video, if I remember, I might show it. If there's text on the screen, um... I guess that will tell you. If it isn't there, then I'm gonna show it. Or I just completely forget. That is also an option. But, I mean... Yeah. Nope, there I remember. No promises. Yeah, look how long this map already is. I want to say my render distance is at 16 chunks. Only because of Little Nightmares 2. That's the only reason I have it set at a certain thing. It's set just all the way up. Usually I would have it all the way up, but... I'm trying to keep my render distance a little bit lower for that. Specifically for the end of Chapter 1. In game's terms. But, uh, yeah, fun times. Honestly, this is kind of... I just brought back two Let's Builds recently. So I was theme park, which, whenever that was... I don't even remember. I recorded it recently, though. But, yeah, there you go. There's a little uh, diagonal path going to whatever will be here, which I'm actually going to start. I don't know if I want it grass or stone, so I'm going to meet in the middle, and I'm going to build it out as something that I'm not going to keep it as. Because I want a starter point. I think I'm going to build it out of terracotta. Because I want a block that I know isn't going to stay, but a block that can work, if that makes sense. Like, I want something like this. Like a wall, basically. Something like that. How does that actually look? Yeah, it's pretty good on that side. And this side, I think we'll go fertile, for, for, forward, forward a little bit more. And then kind of go back here. Like, I think you can kind of see the size that I want. This could be extended. It's not going to be super tall. I'm thinking like 10-ish blocks tall, maybe 15. Just something that's there, you, you'll notice... And something that gives the castle a little bit of elevation against everything else. How big is that? Honestly, I think that's big. Enough. It should be big enough. I might actually want a little bit further out on that side, on that side because it's very off-centered. Which, I mean, you figure the castle could go from, like, there to there if I wanted to go really big. I don't want to go with a generic medieval castle. I don't know why I dragged generic out like that. I was going to say general, and then I changed it to generic, because generic is better for that context. But, I don't know why I have night vision, actually. Oh, cool! It's one of those times. Alright, but... Oh, yeah, in all seriousness, I basically have... I just want to, like, have a starter ground. I might actually, like, bring it up to... Well... I guess, yeah, I could just do, um, slash, I don't want to, like, what was the word? I don't remember. Like, I want something like this. I just, just, like, a wall. Or maybe what I actually do is... I build this up, and this is going to be the center point. And then I build, like out so it's not gonna be like that out it's gonna be like that it's gonna be like very straight so what if i like what if i went the wall like this tall four five six seven eight nine how tall is that i think that's enough elevation let me see what it looks like from back here it's like someone's walking by uh i think that's good let me give it one more block actually no two more because i don't want it to be 10 15 to 4 that's 11 okay Is it 11? Cool, it is. I think I'm actually going to outline it, though, instead of whatever the other thing I was going to do was. I don't remember what it was, but I probably won't do too much more. I don't know how long it's been. I didn't pay attention to the clock when I started this, and I didn't set a timer either, which was probably dumb, because I have to literally 
I have until about 10.30 and it's 9.30. I'm recording this very early. <laughs> I usually will record like... Usually like at 8 p.m. It's usually my recording time, but today I was like, nah, I'm recording early. Because it's Saturday. I have other things to... I Literally, if I wanted to record this at 8, I probably wouldn't even be able to. Maybe I'll record something else at 8. Shh, they'll never know. Oh, no, that's a 2 there. Uh, I guess I'm going to outline the rest of this, and then we'll be back. So I might start pulling this down. And this is kind of boring. To be honest, I don't think the, I don't think it's a good thing that I don't have a problem with the terracotta. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna change it. I just don't think it's bad, honestly. But uh, I guess yeah, let's start with that slope. So I want to start at the middle here, where the entrance will be. I think I'm gonna have like a path that basically branches probably that way and just goes like up and around and then into it, which is going to change this road a little bit, but that's fine. I don't really care about that right now. I'm just trying to get like a general, you know, idea. So I want to start with this panel. Actually, I'm gonna go like this. Like something like that is kind of what I want. And obviously, it's not gonna be like the same throughout because that's boring. Yeah, like that. I actually like those two, honestly. I know it's only two, but, uh, shut up. <laughs> I know it's only two, but shh. We're not going to get into that. Yeah, see, that's kind of what I want. Something unnatural, and that's going to go all the way around. So we're going to do a little bit of this, and then I'm going to show you the other castle, which I'm talking about. I didn't finish it, because I realized it looked terrible. But now that I'm revisiting it, maybe I'll like it again. You never know. And then I did actually put that up there, which is fine. It's good to have differences like that. Nothing too large, but also, you know, it's there. Yeah, see? I don't know why I'm good with terraforming like this. And then I will go back after, change this all to probably stone. I think stone's what I'm going to go with. And I will do that later. And I'll probably, what I'll probably actually do is copy the world and then see if I can slash... Um, I don't remember what it's called, but there's one where you can change the block to, like, from whatever this is to, um, terracotta to stone, or whatever, and I'll just texture it myself. Yeah, boom. Something like this, you gotta kinda check frequently and make sure it looks fine. Just to make sure I'm not screwing anything big up. Yeah, like, see, that's fine. That's a little bit square right there. So this next door, I have to break that up somehow. Like, maybe, like, this. So see how I work from bottom to top there instead? Kind of break that up. There you go. See? That just removed that entire square. Although you do have this, which I don't like. But if I can incorporate this with it, then it'll be better. So, yeah, that's good. I like that. I guess I'll talk a little bit while I do this. I might even do this on a stream one day. I think that'd be fun. But, um, yeah, really just my plan is obviously elevate the castle like this. So it looks like a castle wall, kind of. Uh, and then just have it, you know, up there all nice and lovely. And probably have grass on the top, because I think that'd be fun. I think here I'll have the next one up. There you go. And the next one shall be like this. Next one I want to go like this. Yeah, see, I'm actually happy with that. It's... Whenever you're making a wall, you want to make sure that if you're having it a flat top, you want to make sure the walls, however you're having them go, could be either in or out. I'm just using out because I think it's better for this. You want to make sure that it actually, like, fits, if that makes sense. Like, it all looks good and kind of meshes together. I'm not a terraforming expert. Uh, obviously, I think there are other people that are much, much, much better than me. 
But I'm just giving little tips that I use to try and terraform. Because, you know, I'm still not the best. I'm nowhere near the best. I'm not even in contention of the best. But, um, yeah. I'm not having a lot of, like, gas like that to fill in, which is interesting. That was the first time I had an issue with that. I guess it's everything so, like, tight. Can I do it like that? Do I like that? Yeah, that's fine. You can climb that, though. Let's see. Okay, well, you can get to there, and could you make this jump to here? I think you can. Oh, well, that's a wall. Okay, yeah, you can. But then you don't have anything to do from there, unless you somehow make that jump, which I think that's actually possible. It's hard, but it's possible. I can't parkour, so I wouldn't know. But, that's not really the point here. The point is that it's possible. Just don't go falling down this hill, because that would be pretty bad. Okay, I don't like the symmetry there. That's a symmetrical row, but that's fine. And that looks like a square, and I don't like that either. I guess I could put that block back. Oh, but then you have that symmetry, darn. Okay, how about there? Sure, that works. And then the next row will be boop, boop, and then there. I think I'll only do a few more rows, and I might again stream this at some point in time. What I might actually do is I might... Let me see what the command is. I forget what the command is. Uh, I don't see it there. Is it under, uh, is it replace? Is that in inventories? No. It says fog. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. But, I do think I'm actually going to end the video here. However, I do want to show you the other things. So, I'm going to cut quickly and go to that world. Alright, so this isn't said castle, but this is here. Um, basically, though, it is here. There it is. Uh, okay, yeah, it doesn't look any better than I was thinking. <laughs> I think the roof is the thing that needs fixing. It needs to be more just straight up. I put it in and then up, and I think that's a big issue. Also, the windows, I don't like. But, um, yeah, I think you know you can kind of see what I was going for. I don't want to go... I want to go with something similar to this with, like, those types of towers, but not obviously as upscale. Like, yeah, it, honestly, it isn't, like, terrible. It had potential. It's just... It doesn't... It's too thick. That's my issue. These towers are too, like, wide. And they aren't tall enough. I think that's kind of the issue. And then also the roof isn't tall enough either. It kind of goes in too much and then up. Which I do like the up, but I don't think that it needs to be in so much. It looks like a freaking wizard's hat. But, I mean, I don't know why that's there. I was building the thing, and that's the thing. But, yeah. Uh, there's the castle. It's not, like, amazing. It's not great. I don't like it that much. But, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video here. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna stay in this works. No, I feel like getting out. I'm just gonna show into nothing, actually. Thank you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Have a fantastic day, night, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.